Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the volume of a cone. So remember, a cone has one base, and what other solid has one base? A pyramid. So we're going to use a formula for the volume of a pyramid. Uh, so if you guys remember, volume of a pyramid is base area times height divided by three. So a pyramid takes a third of the space uh, that a prism does. And remember it's volume, so volume's in cubes, and the number for a cube is three, so we divide by three. Uh, so um, we're gonna use this same formula to find the volume of a cone. Uh, so let's change this formula a little just to make it work for this special uh, cone right here, which has a base that's a circle. Uh, so the base is a circle. So B stands for base area. Uh, what's the formula for the area of a circle? It's pi r squared uh, times the height divided by three. So here's your formula for the volume of a cone. Okay, so if you want to make a power card on that, um, put in your notebooks and highlight it, here's your formula for volume of a cone. So now let's use this formula to help us find the volume of this specific cone. So we have the radius, which is five. Height is from uh, the base to the highest point, um, and we don't have that. Uh, measurement right there. They give us the slant height right here, which is 13. But if you guys notice, we have a right triangle. And we have two measures of this right triangle. So uh, what can we always use when we have two measurements of a right triangle? Pythagorean theorem. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem to help us find uh, the height right here. So we have the hypotenuse, which is 13 squared is equal to 5 squared. Plus, and let's just put h squared for the height. Okay, not hypotenuse, but height of this cone. Uh, and let's just work this out. So 13 squared is 169 equals 5 squared, which is 25 plus h squared. Let's subtract 25 from both sides. Okay, and this 0, 169 minus 25 is 144 is equal to h squared. Uh, the opposite of squaring something is square rooting. So let's find the radical of 144. Some of you guys have memorized that. Uh, square root of 144 is 12. So now we have the height, we have all of the measurements we need, and so let's just plug all this in into our formula. So V equals pi, radius is 5 squared times 12 over 3. And let's use order of operations, no parentheses, but we have an exponent. So 5 squared is 25 pi times 25 times 12 over three uh, and we could multiply or make some numbers smaller uh, i like making numbers smaller so this three goes into this 12 four times so threes cancel out this 12 is turned into four that makes our multiplication a little easier so 25 times four times pi is equal to 100 pi don't forget the pi feet cubed and remember, it's cubed because it's a number of cubes that fit inside. And there's that three again. All right, here you go. And that's how to find the volume of a cone.